welcome back to my channel I hope you're all well and doing it good now today I'm very excited to film this video because it is the first Christmassy themed video of the year which I'm super super excited about anyone who knows me will know that I love Christmas it's literally my favorite time of year after the year that we have had this year I'm extra excited about it I'm so excited to like go home and decorate the house and everything it cannot come quick enough just need Boris to let me home from university first but if you can't already tell by the title of the video, today I'm doing a Christmas dress haul. So I don't know about you guys, but every year Christmas is always quite a big thing in our house. We always have all the family around for Christmas dinner. I say all the family, I've actually got quite a small family that's only really 11 of us at the dinner table on Christmas. Um, I say only, that's quite a lot, but that's my whole family basically, apart from my mum's side. Um, anyway, that's a complete tangent, <laughs> but Christmas won't be like that this year. It's looking like it would just be my like house family, like me, mum, dad, and my brothers, and my boyfriend. Um, so I'm sure it would be just as lovely. However, just because Christmas isn't as big this year and isn't as fancy, it does not mean that we can't all dress up still. So I thought I would do a Christmas dress haul styling video. Lots of Christmassy, lots of party type dresses that I just want to wear. Also, Christmas parties aren't going to be around this year, like work Christmas parties and whatever. Most of them are going to be held over Zoom, but again, that doesn't mean we can't dress up. So I thought I would do a little Christmas dress party dress haul party outfit haul, Christmas day haul kind of thing. Don't really know what I'm going to title this video. But I basically picked out six festive outfits or like party outfits which you can wear, which I would wear for Christmas day or you know like if I was going out for Christmas parties or this year the Zoom equivalent is what I'll be wearing. So without further ado I'm going to get straight into this video. As always if you're new around here please do make sure that you subscribe. Also head on over to my Instagram which I will leave here um, and make sure you follow me over there because I post daily fashion inspiration over there as well. Without further ado we're just going to jump straight on into the video. Okay so I have four outfits from one brand and two from another brand. Um, before we get going all of these dresses have very kindly been gifted to me. Um, I do have a discount code for one of them but I'll go into that in a minute. So I'll start off with a brand called Pretty Darling UK. Now like I say I do have a discount code for you guys which is so you can you guys can get an extra 15% off if you use the code HAM15 at checkout if any of these take your fancy. They are a little boutique and they have some really beautiful pieces on there. So the very first dress that I picked out before we before I show you it you should know that I have an obsession with crushed velvet. I just think it's such a beautiful material and this is a beautiful like royal blue crushed velvet dress. I'm in love with this. It's such a beautiful blue. I don't know if you can really like how well it's going to pick up on camera. Um, but it's such a gorgeous colour and it's just got this really lovely like sweetheart neck. The only thing is with this is that it's slightly too big around the bust area purely because I have like no boobs. If you're slightly fuller in the chest area you'd be absolutely fine. And to be honest with you if I just chuck on a push up bra it will probably be fine. But yeah I would just say it size it down because it is slightly, it does come up slightly big like on the chest area. But apart from that it is the most beautiful dress and it is so flattering like it fits everywhere else perfectly like everywhere and it's so nice you'll probably have, you'll be able to see it better in like the try on clip but i'm fully obsessed with this and i literally cannot wait to wear it it's also got a really nice like puff detailing shoulder um as well which is really nice and then it's just like long sleeved um and bodycon i would say it comes down to like mid thigh length so it's like a mini dress um but it's really really beautiful and i cannot wait to wear this i just think it looks so gorgeous at, like a work christmas party and it's that really lovely classy color as well and i don't actually own anything in crushed blue velvet um so i'm super excited to wear this so beautiful and dress number two which is, again is from the same brand um oh i forgot to say i got this in a size what size did i get it in I got it in UK size 8, so yeah, if I'd got a size 6, it probably would have fitted the bust area perfectly, but I'm not overly fussed because it fits everywhere else. So, dress number 2 is a slightly more casual dress, but still like really nice for like Christmas Day or something. Um, but it's like this beautiful red skater dress with a frill hem at the bottom. Um, and yeah, I just thought this was, this was like a really cute little day dress. Um, I picked this up in a size, so this is in a size 6. Um, I haven't actually tried this one on yet, but you'll be able to see from the try-on clip how it fits, if it fits. Um, but it looks like it probably will fit. Again, it's got a slightly steep v-neck. Um, however, I think once that's on, it'll probably be fine. I've always put like a lace bra underneath or a lace um, top, so I'm not falling out. Not that anything's there to fall out. But yeah, this has just got three quarter, quarter length sleeves. Just cuffed its sleeves with like a little frill on the bottom. Um, but I just thought this was really cute and girly. And it's just in this really lovely ditzy floral print. And it's in red 
we all know I have a bit of a love affair with anything that's red. I have so many red things in my wardrobe, it's a joke. It's just my favourite colour to wear. Yeah, this is dress number two. It's slightly more on the casual side, but still really nice. And I feel like this is quite a versatile dress, like you could wear it during the day or dress it up for the evening. It would also be really perfect for summer, for like warmer, warmer weather, when it eventually gets warmer again. But yeah. That is dress number two and um, I will leave links to all of these dresses down below as well with the prices because I can't exactly remember the prices of them um, but yeah they'll all be linked below in order for you in case any of you wanted them. So then dress number three. Now I have not had anything corduroy for probably about 15 years like since my mum used to dress me in it as I was a, when I was a child um, and I always hated it as a child however I'm kind of loving corduroy at the moment um, and when I saw this cord dress I was like, I need it. It looks so nice. I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe. But it's just this really nice shirt style dress in like a really deep forest green um, corduroy material. Now, I saw this and I was like, I don't really know if I can put it off. It's a bit different to anything that I have. But I wanted to give it a go because I think it could look really nice. And I have an outfit in my head. I've got a pair of white knee high boots coming. Um, and I think this will look really good with the white knee high boots. Um, but yeah, this is dress number three. I picked it up in a size six. Again, it's like another mini dress, um, mini shirt dress. I picked it up mainly because of the colour, because I don't, again, don't own anything in this sort of colour. Um, and I just thought this was like a really nice, classy dress. Again, it's one of those dresses that could be like dressed up or dressed down. So perfect for like, you know, office drinks or whatever, office Zoom drinks, and also just for like a casual Christmas day outfit. You could again really dress this up um, if you were going out as well or wear it to work. Um, so I think it's just a really versatile dress which is why I picked it up because I could also wear this in the summer. I think that was my thinking, I was like I want party dresses but I also want something that's a bit more versatile and I can wear like whenever. Um, but yeah this is dress number 3, again size 6 so I'm sure it will fit perfectly. And it's the same sort of length, all of these dresses are the same sort of length, none of them are that long. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited to wear this and I think it's going to look so cool when my white boots come as well. The last thing that I picked up from Pretty Darling is again something that I don't own anything like and I have no idea how this is going to look on me um, as it's kind of out of my comfort zone, I won't lie. But it is this really beautiful champagne coloured blouse with like ruffles down the front. Now, kind of giving me like Henry VIII vibes, but I think it's quite nice. I'm not quite sure. The outfit that I have in my head, I think it'll look quite good on. But yeah, it's just this really lovely like satiny type material with ruffles down the front. It's a bit out there, I won't lie. And I don't know how good it's gonna look on me, but I'm gonna try and style it, I'm gonna try and make it work. I picked this up in a size six as well. It looks like the perfect fit, which is good. It's just got this lovely like shimmer to it as well. And I think it looks quite expensive, which is quite nice. And I really don't think it was. I think it's all really well reasonably priced. Um, but yeah, I thought I would give this styling a go. And again, this year, like, big collars are quite in. And, like, ruffles. Ruffles have been in for a few years now. Um, so I thought I would give this a go because it's quite on trend. And I really, really want to be able to style it and look good in it. So obviously that's just a shirt. I'm not going to go out in just a shirt. So I would pair that with these leather shorts, which I have from a brand called... Uh, oh so spoil I think it is, I'll leave them linked below. Um, but yeah, I've had these leather shorts for a while now. Just plain black leather shorts. Um, and I thought these two together would be quite a nice cute outfit or even a, or even a leather skirt to be honest with you. Um, just something that was a bit more like, just something that wasn't as out there for the bottom half because the top is quite out there. So kind of want to let the top do the talking. But yeah, that is outfit number four I think. And if I can pull that off, I think it'll be a really cute outfit. And again, you could definitely dress it up um, with a pair of heels or something, or dress it down with some like chunky boots and like, tights. Um, but I really hope that looks good on me. My only problem with shirts is I never know if they make me look like I'm going to school because I have quite a young face anyway. Um, and I just don't know if shirts do me any justice. But we'll see. You'll see from the try and clip whether it looks good or not. <laughs> and now the other two dresses are from a brand called oh so spoil which is where those shorts were from um which i have to show you guys so then i'll leave those like linked below these again have been gifted to me which was really kind of them so dress number are we on dress number five or dress number four four so this is dress number four again it's a crushed velvet number we know how i feel about crushed velvet by now um but this time it's in this gorgeous red color again we know how i feel about red when i saw this i was like I need it. It's just Christmas in a dress. Like, I feel like if Christmas was a dress, it would be this. 
Um, but yeah, it's just this beautiful red crushed velvet. And it's again got quite a steep v-neck. Um, I'm definitely going to have to safety pin that. Because I'll be, oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll be able to get away with it. Sometimes I have to safety pin v-neck things because they're just too big. Um, but yeah, it's just this v-neck and it's got like a ruched detailing on the side. I don't know how well this is showing on camera. Um, but yeah, again, it's midi, uh, midi, it's mini dress. I'm so excited about it, I can't talk. Um, but yeah, it's this gorgeous red colour. And I just thought on Christmas Day, like in front of the Christmas tree, obviously I'll probably wear it for like 10 minutes for a photo and then take it off. Um, but I thought this would be really cute. And it's just so festive, I really love it. And it actually feels like really good quality as well. Again, with all of the other ones, they were really good quality. Um, and yeah, I'm very excited to wear this. I just thought it was the perfect dress for the festive period, basically. I feel like I don't have enough occasions to wear all of these nice outfits for, so I'm gonna be like prancing around in my house, dressed really nice for the foreseeable future. So sorry to my family for having to witness that. Now, the last dress or outfit that I have to show you guys is I'm going to take the belt off it because I don't know how I feel about the belt. So, the final dress, I've just taken the belt out because I feel like I can't really show it to you guys properly. It's just this really simple, plain, dusty pink satin dress. Um, it's like a, I don't know, like a cami dress basically. Mum kind of said it looked like a nighty, but we move. Um, and it did come with this like rope belt. However, I don't know if that's going to look right with it. So. I will probably put like a normal belt around the waist because it has got like belt hole, belt hole, <laughs> belt hole loops around it. So it might just look better with a plain black belt or something, or like a little um, you know, you can get those like glittery, not glittery, but like chain belts. It might look quite nice with one of those. Um, but yeah, it's just this really lovely satin dress. Again, I don't really own anything like this. That's a lie, actually. I have a satin dress that's like leopard print, and I love it. Um, but yeah. I thought again that this could be really dressed up with like a pair of like dainty heels um, for like New Year's or something but it could also be dressed down if you put like a long sleeved top on underneath it um, and like chunky boots so again it's very versatile and yeah it's quite thin so you're going to get cold if you wear it out um, but yeah I thought it was a really pretty colour which is why I picked it up again I don't really own much in this sort of colour um, so I thought it would be quite nice to style it. Here's a better view of the belt, I mean tell me what you guys think but I don't really know how a rope belt is going to look that great with a satin dress. I mean, I'll try it on for you guys and show you what it's like, um, but I'm not really sure how I feel about it. <laughs> okay, so that is the end of my Christmas party dress haul. I literally, I still have no idea what I'm going to title this video. Um, I hope you have enjoyed it. I am so excited to wear all of these. Like I say, I literally have no social occasions at the moment because of Corona. Um, but as soon as my social calendar is full again, I will be making sure I get the most out of these because they're all such beautiful dresses and bits of clothing. And I'm just so excited to wear them. I'll be like wearing them around the house and just to stand in front of the Christmas tree for an Instagram picture. So make sure you head on over to my Instagram to see those. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Which was your favourite outfit? I would love to know. I think mine would have to be one of the velvet dresses. Possibly the blue one because I think it's quite classy and I literally have nothing like it in my um, wardrobe. But yeah, I'd love to know what your favourite is. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up and remember to subscribe. If you are new around here, I do upload twice weekly. So if you subscribe, you won't miss that. And yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Please do give it a big thumbs up. And I will see you all for another upload on Wednesday.